Welcome back, friends. Our guest today is Shanae Anderson from the Sedgwick County Zoo. And it looks like we'll be talking about water creatures today, Shanae. We are. You know, here in Kansas being landlocked, we sometimes forget about the importance of our waterways. And of course, as we were talking beforehand, also remembering that Kansas was a shallow ocean historically. That's why we have some of the neatest rock formations and things here in our state. But the thing that we always need to remember is that all water leads to the ocean. So we can make a big difference in not only our native animals' lives, like this river otter that I have here. Um, river otters are animals that are not common here in Kansas. Historically, they were, but as our waterways became polluted, as overharvesting occurred, uh, we saw actually they disappeared from our state. And it wasn't until the 1980s that we started introducing otters back into the state. And today, if you're really lucky, um, on the eastern side of Kansas and several of our our waterways you might be able to find an otter or two but they're pretty unique pretty rare to find them in our state then. and of course this and would this be a rare. huge rarity Tell to us find about this big bone. so this large bone is actually the vertebra the backbone of a whale now, whales, the blue whale is the largest whale, the largest animal ever to roam the earth, um, and they're still in existence today. But again, just like we said, every drop leads to the ocean. Mm -hmm. What we do here in Wichita, Kansas, to protect our waterways can ultimately help uh, the aquatic animals like whales, dolphins, porpoises um, in our oceans, especially in the Gulf of Mexico, which is where the Mississippi River dumps out into. Okay. That's one of the reasons the zoo is so excited to be part of the Ark River cleanup that's coming up here on April 27th. Yeah, tell us about that. It's a great way for the community to get out and make a difference. Last year, we were able to collect over 1.6 tons of trash in wow. a three-hour period. Now, that's the sad part, that there were yeah. 1.6 tons of trash. Yeah. The great thing, though, is seeing the community come together to get this cleaned up and to make a difference in our community so that we're making making a difference in all those communities downstream as well. Okay. So there's still time to sign up for the Ark River Cleanup. You can just uh, Google Ark River Cleanup and you'll see our website. Yeah, April 27th at yeah. 9 a.m. 9 a.m. And the Wagon Masters will be out and help with Cargill to help feed everybody as well. So Ooh, it's just that. a great community time to get together and to show our pride in Wichita. Okay, absolutely. Keep that river clean. Sounds great. Shanae, thank you so much uh -huh. for coming in today. Thank you. As always, and we'll be right back. 